Okay, this next question comes from Kristen, and Kristen says, how do I stand out from other copywriters without jeopardizing my prices and margins? The background is I want to start offering a day rate where I complete my client's project within 24 hours. Example, write a long form sales page in one day. I want to do this to increase prices and margin and hoping the quick turnaround would appeal to some clients. Are there any downfalls to this model that I should consider? As a launch copywriter for entrepreneurs, I'm always looking for ways I can stand out from other writers. I feel like this day rate slash sales page in a day offer would separate me from others and offer more value, deliver faster results, and less wait time for the client. I love the idea of squeezing in a project within 72 hours instead of it dragging on for weeks and have continuous back and forth. Love where your head's at. You know, it's all I, I love being innovative and I love creating raving fans, super fans, as Brittany Hodak calls them. And I think it's great for you to constantly be looking for things that can give you the edge and stand out against your competition. Now, in this regard, what you're, you know, you're asking, you know, do I think, do I think this is a good idea? You know, the best ideas that I've ever had for any of my companies came from my customers. I, whenever I say, well, I think this is going to be good without knowing that that's what my customers want, it usually almost always fails. You know, there might be some that like it or whatever, and that's cool. But by and large, the best ideas, the ways that I have become the most competitive is I'm asking my customers what they want. And then I'm always thinking, how could I do it better? How could I really create that super fan out of my clientele, right? Um, and another thing I do is I secret shop all of my competitors. I So if I were in your shoes, I would go out there to other copywriters in the world and I would have one of my friends or a client or whatever, and I did this in, with my last business, I would have them go get contracts, see proposals, and do all that stuff, not hire the people, but go down the path in the process and see what they do, see what they offer and see how I can do it better. How could my company do it better? And whether it's a price, uh, turnaround time, um, communication, whatever it might be, at the end of the day, people are going to hire you for your writing skills and your ability to strategically explain why you are writing that sales page the way you are. That's where the money is. The money is in the strategy <clears throat> more than the copy itself. Because in that world of digital marketing and email marketing and writing a book or whatever, it's all a, there's a strategy around it, as you know, to why the first paragraph should do this, the second paragraph, the, and then the ending should be this. That strategy is what your clients want to know and why you are the best person to do it and you understand it. So those, just, I think that's a great idea to play with this one day thing. The downfall would be how many clients could you handle? So say for instance, you have a bunch of clients and then you get, and you're busy as busy can be. And then a client says, okay, Kristen, I want that deal. I, I need this done in a day. And you're like, I got all these other clients that I promised, you know, their work to be done by tomorrow. Can you do that? Can that be managed? So I would start thinking about it from a from a procedural perspective. That when you're when you're booked fully, how do you handle that type of business? Something to think about. Um, but I think it's a great idea what you're thinking as far as as trying to separate yourself. Keep trying ideas like that. I, there's never a downfall with trying something. And the best way to find out if it's going to work is to talk to some of your best clients and ask them. You know. What I did is I had about five or six of my really close top clients and whenever I was gonna try something new, I would talk to them and get their feedback and listen to them. Sometimes they like the idea and sometimes they're like, Sean, that's a horrible idea, it's not gonna work. And I'm like, okay, throw that in the trash. All right, hope that helps, Kristen.